Hey everybody, welcome back to our series on Martin MPC and the M series software. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video we're going to talk about grouping, uh, recording groups with the M series software and, and talk about the different options that you have because M series has some weird stuff in there. Um, that's the best way to put it. Coming from other consoles, there's some ways that it handles a grouping that can really save you a lot of time especially if you're like me and you program a lot of one-off shows um, I do a lot of corporate events and, and so I'm always programming you know different rigs one-off shows and anything that's gonna save me time in generating groups is um, a happy day to me and so um, I'm gonna show you how M series does that and, and how you can use some of the functions that it has to really build some cool looks fast and uh, effectively so I'm here in the 2d view and uh, you can either you know you can select fixtures anywhere to record them into groups you can select them clicking and dragging in the 2d view and notice that the selection order is going to determine how the groups recorded just like on other consoles so there I selected them backwards here I selected them forwards and that's important to know because when you apply things to the group such as fans or effects they're going to always be applied to the group in the order that you recorded it and so this is very very important to get right because here it's going forwards this is the last fixture but if I record this way it's gonna be backwards and all my effects are gonna run backwards and, and such like that now there's gonna be times where you want to do this on purpose and it'll save you programming time but for right now I'm going to record this from 301 to 310 alternatively you can type in the command line as well and you can see that the console has populated um, what I just did in the command line so if you ever have question about the order that you selected them in you can see it right there now we're going to go to the programmer. Um, there's a couple places you can program groups in. Anywhere that you see this blue groups window is going to be a safe place to hit the record key. Again, either here in this window on these keys or as I'm going to do right now from the surface of my console, which is an M touch in this case. Hit the record key. The options window comes up, but that's not important to us right now. And we're going to click the button that we want to record it in now to name the group we simply type at this point so I'm gonna call this all washes hit enter and boom you've saved it so that's pretty easy um, you can also see these groups a number of places like I said anywhere you see this blue window the fixture center is also a great place you click over there it defaults to all your fixtures shows you what you got selected you can see the groups here as well as the auto groups that M series has created that I showed you when we were in the 2D view. Now I'm going to work from groups here um, for the rest of this tutorial, but to show you some different things you can do. But know that if you ever want to go back, you know, go to 2D plan and you can hit clear. Um, always hit clear between recording different groups to make sure you don't get anything stuck in there that, that you didn't want to record. And say I wanted, you know, I had just this random selection of lights that I wanted and I, you know, this would be the quickest way. I could just drag here and drag here and and I want this light too because I don't know why. You know, there's some artistic reason why this makes sense. And, and I'm able to select that. Could go here to program or to the fixture center like I'm going to now in the groups tab. Hit record and we'll call it, we'll put it at group 20. We'll type a name called David's weird group and so that's that um, you can always even if you've hit clear like I just did you can always go back to the groups you've recorded you can click on them and it's always available for you to type so David's oops and then I hit enter David's uh, if I can type this will work um, yeah. David's odd group type that there we'll spell it right and we'll hit enter and it renames so simple as that to rename groups always again hit clear uh, when anything 
anytime you record a group just so that you're sure you've cleared everything out unless you don't want to clear everything out you're gonna if you're gonna add some fixtures to make your next group you can do that as well now I'm gonna click once again this all washes group to select all 10 of my fixtures you can see here in this t selected window it's got the 10 fixtures I've selected in that order and I'm actually gonna go over to the programmer and show you the power of the grouping tool so this is where Martin has built in I'll click on it here some really quick ways for you to generate some groups out of your fixtures and so we've got every two and you see here it's selected every two fixtures and so that's how the every works um, say I want every three fixtures so it's select fixture one it would skip two and three then four would be selected seven and ten again there I'm selecting every four and so it just goes down the line every four you know ten doesn't divide by four well and so the console just starts at one and goes in a linear fashion until it runs out we've got block which is um, you know it selects just one and two there and then if I were to hit the next key or the last key on my console you see it's gonna skip ahead five six seven eight nine ten so you see how it skips through like that um, again you could set number like three to that make blocks three blocks of four etc divide is pretty cool this literally divides the number of fixtures in half so it, if it's set to two I've got 10 fixtures it's selecting the first five if I hit next I get the other half mirror mirror two as you can see I get the first and last fixture uh, mirrored if I say mirror four which makes uh, sense because I've got an even number here then I get the two center and the two outside say I went to I don't think any of the other numbers really work mathematically um, for 10 fixtures but if you had a lot more fixtures you could increase that value and and do that but say I've got mirrored two then I hit next you can see I move through my fixtures in a mirrored fashion and if I record this as a group uh, we'll do this in a minute record this as a group you will see that what it does is it doesn't just record the two fixtures that I've got highlighted here this is recording all wash mirror we'll call it and, and this is literally this records if I hit clear reselect it this is recording all 10 fixtures but with the mirror mask applied to it and so as I click next I can access all the fixtures so unlike on, on older consoles or other consoles where if you wanted to you know have every two fixtures selectable in a mirror format like this if I had 10 fixtures I'd need to create five groups but Martin condenses it down into one group and, and this works for the every for the block divide mirror and the group um, which is by group that you've already recorded there and and so it, it's really cool that that Martin's put this in here because you know say I've got every two and I can record this as half rig hit clear bring it back up and I can hit my next key and you see I'm dancing through half the lights at a time and so this is um, a really powerful way that you're able to quickly generate what on other consoles would be a large number of groups um, but in the M series desk it is not that many groups because it, it's keeping it's programming all 10 fixtures but with the mask applied now the other thing I want to talk about here and this was very confusing to me at first was this fan slash effects switch so what does that do well simply put um, it changes the way that the fixtures react to the fan tool and, and this is something I'd, I'd urge you to play with but basically show you an example here I'm going to I've got my half rig recorded right so that's recorded fan effects is off I'm gonna turn it on 
I'm going to hit record right here. And then this is half, we'll call this half rig fan. Hit clear. And so what we're going to see here is if I go in here, go to intensity, I'm just going to bring up my intensity to 50% as a good starting point, which is center. Then I'm going to go to fanning. Going to fan this. And what you're going to see is when I fanned and had this fan switch on, here I've got every other one set to 100 and every other one set to 0. Now, watch what happens when I bring this fan the other way. And you see as I toggle, let me just leave it part way in between the two. So what it's done is it's fanned based on the mask, right? So every other one is 90 and every other one is 10%. And so it, the fan is not like a normal fan. Let me show you what that looks like, where if I have the group programmed as every two, but just normal, you know, so it no fan slash effects selected. What will happen then when I fan is, go over here, pop this guy up, bring up intensity to half, and we fan it. And so you see that the fixtures that are selected here, every other fixture is now fanning, right? The, the value's at full there, and at zero there, and it, it gradually changes between the two. Pop this back up. See, if I flip it the other way, it does exactly the opposite. And then if I hit that next key, I can then fan my other group and, and it works the same way. And so I hope that makes sense. I hope um, that really um, clarifies to you how this works in the M series software. You can see here that it, um, it's, it's really powerful how, you know, if I don't select this fan slash effects switch, then the fan effects, the fanning and, and effects as well, um, modify the lights as I would normally expect. You know, I've got every other selected, and then the fan modifies it from top to bottom based on the selection order. However, if I have this fan effects selected, it, it changes the game, and now we're going between the two sets that I'm able to hit next, last, and access. And so I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. I want to also show you, as we're going down here, one last thing, and that is these actions. All right, so if I select all my washes, go over here. These actions allow us to mess around and change the selection order. And of course, anytime we do this, if I do it to a group that I made active, I either need to re-record the same group afterwards or create a new group that has the action built into it. So say I hit random, that's one of my favorites. I, I usually tap it a bunch of times on most consoles just because I want a very random random. And so I do that and then what's gonna happen is as I hit next, you see I'm jumping through the lights randomly if I hit the next or last key. Then I can record this. So that's just a quick, simple way to do a random selection order. Again, say I do every two. Of course, this is on a random selection. Let me clear this so it makes more sense. Do every two. And now you can hit invert, revert, and you can watch what happens. Revert there, you saw um, undid the every two that I just did. Invert, you can invert the mask. And so invert, you can see, just inverts the selection. It's not really doing anything for me right now. But invert mask switches the mask back and forth. Random, you can reverse, which of course is switching um, which direction the selection order is. So if you mess that up, you can just hit that reverse, re-record, and sort, which gets us back to zero. So that's really how these masks work. And you can also access on this masks pane a bunch of pre-built masks 
which in this view, I admit it's a little confusing because there's not really nice rows. But if you go to the fixture center, you can access these masks in nice rows right here. And so these are the pre-built masks that it's the same stuff you can access in here. It's just Martin's put it together. So you click that and then you can see, okay, they've dialed this in that way. So it's just a shortcut to get you there and uh, you can record your own there as well. So I hope this makes sense. I hope uh, recording groups makes sense to you. And it's very important to do if, if you haven't programmed, um, a, you know, a professional level automated lighting console before, like the Martin M series, it's very important to use groups and to program with groups because later, as you go to edit your show file and edit your cues down the line, you're going to be able to, um, say you have a situation where you need to change the lights that are on, you know, in a given number of cues. So you got your backlight and, and you need to change all your cues because you need to add a fixture or cut out a few fixtures or whatever you got to do you know maybe you just want to completely switch which trust you're using in those cues I don't know but regardless you're able then and this works in, in many consoles um, not just the M series you're able to re-record what you've got in the same group and then that's gonna affect what's in the cues and so Hope that helps. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos uh, beginning with M-Series and, and really just are getting a good grasp of, of how this software works because it's really, whether you're on the software or, or on the console, going to enable you to do some really great things with your lighting. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to talk about this section down here. We're going to start recording some different palettes with the groups of fixtures that we've built. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.